टुडे आई एम गोइंग टू टेक ए सुपा फ्रॉम एन अनदर निकाया दैट इज अंगूठा निकाया दिस इज ए न्यूमेरिकल दिस कोर्सेज सो वन थिंग वॉट इज इम्पॉर्टेंट देन देर आर टू थिंग्स विच कैन हेल्प यू और समथिंग लाइक दैट देर आर थ्री थिंग्स विच आर देर इन दम फोर थिंग्स फाइव थिंग्स टिल इलेवन थिंग्स सो वी विल बी टेकिंग द फर्स्ट सुपा of the book of 11 and the second sutra it is a, a kind of showing how our precepts helps us in our progress to hum aaj jo sutra lene ja rahe hain wo angudra nikaya ka jo 11th kitab hai angudra nikaya jo hai aap ang ke hisab se hai jaise ek cheez kya sabse zaruri hai aur fir dusre andar batayenge ke दो चीज क्या है उस तरह से ग्यारह ऐसे किताब है तो हम ग्यारहवा किताब का पहला और दूसरा जो है हम सुता वो हम यहाँ पे पढ़ेंगे दिस इज ए वेरी काइंड ऑफ ए प्रोग्रेसिव हाउ वन थिंग लीड्स टू अनदर एंड हाउ दिस इज ए प्रैक्टिस वेर स्लोली यू डेवलप एंड वेन इफ यू डेवलप वन थिंग इट Uh, kind of uh, helps you to develop the other thing so how do you start uh, this is uh, through the precepts so yahan pe ek cheez se dusra ek cheez agar aap apna karte hain to usse dusri cheez aur dusri cheez se tisri cheez is tarah se nibhana tak aap tak yata kis tarah hoti hai aur ye shil kis tarah se sabse aapko zaruri hai agar aap bolte hain कोई यहाँ पे शील लेते हैं तो शील का पालन करना हो कितना जरूरी है हाउ इम्पोर्टेंट इट इज टू फॉलो द प्रिसेप्ट दस हैव आई हर्ड ऑन वन अकेजन द ब्लेसेड वन वॉज लिविंग ड्वेलिंग एट स्वावती जेथा थ्रो अनाथ पिंडिका स्पा देन द वेनरेबल आनंद अप्रोच द ब्लेसेड वन पेड होमेज टू हिम सैट डाउन टू वन साइड एंड सेट टू हिम वन डे वॉट इज द पर्पज एंड बेनिफिट ऑफ होल सम वर्चुअस बिहेवियर Ananda, the purpose and benefit of wholesome virtuous behavior is non-regret. So, पहला पूछते Ananda पूछते हैं कि अगर आप शील का पालन करते हैं तो उसका क्या आपको फायदा होता है तो शील का पालन करते हैं तो आपको पीति या सुख का अनुभव होता है And what बनते is the purpose and benefit of non-regret? सॉरी नॉन रिग्रेट मीन्स पीटी नहीं मीन्स नॉन रिग्रेट मीन्स आपको गलती का एहसास नहीं होता मीन्स आपका जो मन रहता है साफ रहता है मीन्स गलती का एहसास नहीं नॉन रिग्रेट द पर्पज एंड बेनिफिट ऑफ नॉन रिग्रेट इज जॉय जो अगर आपका मन में कोई गलती का भाव नहीं है तो फिर पीटी या सुख का आपको अनुभव होता है एंड वॉट बनते इज द पर्पज एंड बेनिफिट ऑफ जॉय द पर्पज एंड बेनिफिट ऑफ जॉय इज rapture rapture is a finer uh, level of happiness it can be said as uh, if it is joy is uh, having an uh, amount of uh, excitement in uh, the happiness has a more cool there are uh, five kinds of uh, joyous feeling one can feel three are the ones which a, a lay person uh, can feel one is when one uh, when somebody gets a news and they have goosebumps that is one kind of a, uh, this thing uh, a joy second kind of joy is it feels like a lightning you have sudden joy uh, come up you will hear some news and there is a sudden joy your team wins and you go it's a lightning kind of a feeling then the third kind of joy is it comes in waves you are happy and then it goes away and then it comes in waves this are uh, the uh, kinds of joy uh, three kinds of joy any uh, person can uh, experience any time when the conditions are right there are two kinds of joy only a person who does meditation can experience one uh, is uh, an uh, uplift uh, uplifted joy uplifted joy is joy which you feel uh, in uh, the lower jhanas and then other is the enlightenment joy the joy which you feel in the uh, infinite consciousness that is the joy you feel only as a person who does meditation 
आपको सुख का एहसास जो है अलग अलग तरीके से हो सकता है तो जीवन के अंदर कोई भी सामान्य व्यक्ति है उसको पांच तरीके के जो तीन तरीके के सुख है वो आप अनुभव कर सकते हैं और जो आप भावना करते हैं तो दो तरीके के सुख वो भावना में ही आपको अनुभव होते हैं एक सुख है आपको जैसे आप आप सुख होते हैं और यहाँ पे आपको जैसे ये गूस बम्स को क्या बोलेंगे रोंगटे खड़े होते हैं तो रोंगटे खड़े होते हैं तो वो ऐसा एक सुख है दूसरा सुख है कि अचानक कुछ ऐसा होता है और जैसे बिजली की तरह आपको सुख जैसे सुखी का एहसास जैसे कोई आपका टीम जीतता है प्रमोशन मिलता है तो अचानक से अच्छा खुशी आती है वो आती है फिर चली जाती है फिर एक खुशी है जो जो आपको धीरे धीरे एक जैसे आप समुद्र के किनारे बैठे हुए हैं और आपको एक के बाद लहर आ रही है तो लहरों में आपको खुशी महसूस होती है तो ऐसे तीन तरह के खुशियां हैं जो भी अगर सामान्य जीवन के अंदर वो अनुभव कर सकता है दो ऐसे खुशियां हैं जो आपको सिर्फ आप जब अगर भावना करते हैं मेडिटेशन करते हैं तब आपको महसूस होती है एक ऐसा है जिसको बोलते हैं अपलिफ्टेड जॉय मीन्स आपको हल्का लगता है और इसके इस मेडिटेशन के अंदर आदमी बहुत हल्का फील करता है क्या अभी बहुत हल्का और बहुत आराम फील हो रहा है फिर आगे जाके आप जब अरूबा जाना में होते हैं वहाँ पे जो आपको सुखी खुश का एहसास होता है उसको अनलाइटेनमेंट मीन्स आपको निबाना से है वो आपको मदद करता है निबाना तक लेके जाने के लिए उसको अनलाइटेनमेंट जॉय कहते हैं वो भी आपको जॉय जो है जो आपको यहाँ पे सेवन फैक्टर्स ऑफ एनलाइटेनमेंट जो बोलते हैं उसके अंदर भी आपको वो जॉय है जो आपको अरूबा जाना में मिलता है वो जॉय अनलाइटेनमेंट जॉय so uh, this is also a part the joy which we talk about as the in aruba jana is the same joy of the seven factors of awakening and what what is the purpose and benefit of uh, rapture um, the purpose and benefit of rapture is tranquility tranquility uh, means jo aapka rapture agar hoga means jo bahut sara jo sukh ka anusar hoga उसका आगे जाके रैप्चर रैप्चर अभी और ट्रैंक्विलिटी मीन्स आपको मन शांत हो हो जाएगा और आपको बहुत अच्छा लगेगा दैट ट्रैंक्विलिटी इज ए स्टेट वेर योर माइंड इज वेरी काम एंड यू फील वेरी कंफर्टेबल इन द बॉडी एंड द माइंड दैट इज द स्टेट ऑफ ट्रैंक्विलिटी दिस ऑल्सो यू फील इन द मेडिटेशन ऑनली यू कैन नॉट फील इन द डेली लाइफ वॉट इज द पर्पज एंड बेनिफिट ऑफ ट्रैंक्विलिटी The purpose and benefit of tranquility is pleasure. So जो आनंद होता है वो उसका ये कारण है मीन्स उसका उससे आप आनंद पे जाते हैं And what is the purpose and benefit of pleasure? The purpose and benefit of pleasure is collectedness. So आपको अगर आप सुख सुख में है शरीर में और मन में सुख है तो फिर आपको एकाग्रता मिलती है तो एकाग्रता क्या है आपका जो भी आप का ध्येय है उसके ऊपर आपका मन रहना सो कलेक्टेडनेस इज वॉट एवर इज योर एम यू कैन कीप योर अटेंशन ऑन दैट एम सो इफ यू हैव ए ऑब्जेक्ट ऑफ मेडिटेशन योर माइंड स्टेज ऑन द ऑब्जेक्ट ऑफ मेडिटेशन एंड वॉट मन पे इज द पर्पज एंड बेनिफिट ऑफ कॉन्सेंट्रेशन और कलेक्टेडनेस द पर्पज एंड बेनिफिट ऑफ कलेक्टेडनेस इज द नॉलेज एंड विजन ऑफ थिंग्स एज दे really are yatha bhut nana dasana so why do you have that uh, samata for vipassana so we have that uh, collectedness to know how the things are as they are nothing is inputted nothing is outputted we see that so that is the reason our meditation is called tranquil wisdom insight meditation so you have the tranquil wisdom aspect and the insight aspect so if you have the uh, collectedness then you can look and when you can look you can uh, have the uh, knowledge of how things are as it is so jo cheez agar aapka man dhyan tikta hai man pe to fir aap dekh sakte hai ki man mein kya ho raha hai jaise ho raha hai jis tarah ho raha hai usi samay mein aap dekh sakte hai तो उस पाली में यथापूर्त ज्ञान दर्शन होते हैं वहाँ पे आपका ज्ञान जो है ज्ञान है वैसा है वैसा ही ज्ञान आप प्राप्त कर सकते हैं उसी का कारण है हम हमारा जो मेडिटेशन में 
आपको समता और विपसना दोनों चीज सिखाई जाती है तो यहाँ पे आपको विपसना का ज्ञान होता है किस तरह से आपका मन कार्य कर रहा है किस तरह से एक दूसरे एक जगह से दूसरी जगह जा रहा है किस तरह से वो आपको पीड़ा पहुँचा रहा है किस तरह से वो अव्यक्ति कहते हैं उसका आपको ज्ञान आपको कब मिलेगा जब आप उसे देखते रहेंगे तो उसी हिसाब से वो सबसे महत्वपूर्ण है दस एंड वॉट बनते इज द पर्पज एंड बेनिफिट ऑफ द नॉलेज एंड विजन ऑफ थिंग्स एज दे रियली आर द पर्पज एंड बेनिफिट ऑफ द नॉलेज एंड विजन एज थिंग्स ऑफ थिंग्स एज दे रियली आर इज डिस एनचैंटमेंट वॉट इज डिस एनचैंटमेंट यू डो नॉट हैव अटैचमेंट्स सो वॉट एवर इज कम अप यू आर नॉट अटैच टू इट बिकॉज यू आर सींग द रियलिटी ऑफ इट यू आर सींग द इम्पर्सनैलिटी ऑफ इट यू आर सींग द दुखा इन इट यू आर सींग द Uh, impermanence in it. When you are seeing the impermanence, your attachment is. So this is if uh, one uh, uh, step. This first step of detachment. So that you get disattachment. You are not uh, seeing it as uh, you had previously seen it. यथा वो तो न्यान दर्शन का आपको किसी ये चाहिए क्योंकि आप अगर आगे जाते हैं तो आपका जो चिपकाव है, जो भी चीज आ रही है, उसके ऊपर का चिपकाव आपका काम होता है. तो अगर आप कोई आपका ये आता है विचार आता है तो पहले जितना चिपकाव था उतना चिपकाव नहीं रहेगा आप उसे जाने दे सकते हैं अगर आप उसे पहचानते हैं क्या है और उसका छोड़ देते हैं तो वे फिर आपको तंग नहीं करता तो आप आप रिकॉग्नाइज करते हैं तो रिलीज कर सकते हैं और आप रिलैक्स करके रिस्माइल करके वापस आ सकते हैं मगर अगर आपने वो रिकोगनाइज किया मगर उसके अंदर आपका चिपकाव है तो फिर उसी में आप चले जाते हैं तब आप मेडिटेशन नहीं कर रहे हैं जब तक आप ये आप सही प्रयास कर रहे हैं वापस लेके आने का मन तब तक आप भावना कर रहे हैं द पर्पज एंड बेनिफिट ऑफ डिस एंचैटमेंट एंड वॉट बनते इज द पर्पज एंड बेनिफिट ऑफ डिस एंचैटमेंट द पर्पज एंड बेनिफिट ऑफ डिस एंचैटमेंट इज डिस पैशन सो दिस इज द लेवल टू ऑफ गेटिंग अवे फ्रॉम द अटैचमेंट दैट इज डिस पैशन डिस पैशन इज देर इज नो काइंड ऑफ Uh, uh, attraction to the what had come, so you can just see this coming and uh, staying and going, but you cannot, you don't get involved with that. So that is this passion. So आपको दूसरा चरण ऐसा है कि कोई भी चीज आएगा उसके अंदर कोई भी जात का आपका लगाव नहीं रहेगा. लगाव आपका छूट जाता है कोई भी चीज जो आ रही है क्योंकि आप कोई भी चीज जो मन में आ रही है आप देख रहे हैं कि ये मन में आ रही है अपने आप ही आ रही है तो ये मेरी नहीं है. और वो अपने आप ही जा रहे हैं तो कभी भी वो शाश्वत कोई चीज नहीं है कोई भी आपका जो विचार है वो शाश्वत नहीं हो सकता और कोई भी विचारों को आप पकड़ना चाहें तो वो दुख आपको देता है और किसी भी विचार से आप झगड़ा करना चाहें तो आपको दुख देता है तो अगर आपको बराबर पता है तो आप उसे कोई भी आप लगाव नहीं रहता है फिर तो आप उसे देखते हैं कि वो आया और उसे आप जान देते हैं It is like a level of uh, understanding, the level of understanding. When uh, you, your uh, attachment reduces, and then there is a, 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 a dispassionate uh, view you can take, because there is that cooling down of that uh, thing. So there is a, in uh, as this is it's a gradual process, and gradually your mind bends towards it. So there is a level two, you can say this is. And what is uh, and and one thing? What is the purpose and benefit of this passion? The purpose and benefit of this passion is the knowledge and vision of liberation. So the purpose of this passion is the knowledge and vision of liberation. Liberation means uh, you get nibbana. That is a uh, when you are totally free of all attachments. So when you are uh, not at attracted to those things. and then you are just able to see without any passion towards it then you will have the uh, understanding of this thing being all uh, uh, something where it is not worth uh, your efforts to get involved in whatever is coming so when you are not uh, uh, putting your efforts uh, to get involved then you get the uh, experience of nibbana jab aap use koi bhi cheez ko aap chipkao nahi pata karte fir aapko ज्ञान होता है आपके जो निब्बान का ज्ञान होता है तो आप ये जो है 
आप देखते हैं किस तरह ये हकीकत है उस हकीकत को देख के आप उसे छोड़ देते हैं दस आनंद द पर्पज एंड बेनिफिट ऑफ होलसम वर्चुअस बिहेवियर इज नॉन रिग्रेट द पर्पज ऑफ एंड बेनिफिट ऑफ नॉन रिग्रेट इज जॉय द पर्पज एंड बेनिफिट ऑफ जॉय इज रैप्चर द पर्पज एंड बेनिफिट ऑफ रैप्चर इज ट्रैंक्विलिटी द पर्पज एंड बेनिफिट ऑफ ट्रैंक्विलिटी इज प्लेजर द पर्पज एंड बेनिफिट ऑफ प्लेजर इज कलेक्टेडनेस द पर्पज एंड बेनिफिट ऑफ कलेक्टेडनेस इज द नॉलेज एंड विजन ऑफ थिंग्स एज दे रियली आर द पर्पज एंड बेनिफिट ऑफ नॉलेज ऑफ थिंग्स as they really are is disenchantment the purpose and benefit of uh, disenchantment is dispassion and the purpose and benefit of dispassion is knowledge and vision of liberation thus ananda wholesome virtuous behavior progressively leads to the foremost so iske liye kehte hain ananda आपने जो अगर शील का पालन किया तब आप उसके निब्बारा तक पहुंच सकते हैं इस तरह से एक जो चीज है दूसरे चीज से आपको जोड़ रही है सो आई जस्ट रीड अ लिटिल ब्रीफ ऑफ द अंगूत्र निकाय 11.2। ये दूसरे चुस्ता का भी हम थोड़ा ही भाग पड़ेंगे क्योंकि ये सारे जो चीजें हैं द वो एक ही है वॉट एवर द कम्पोनेंट आर इट्स अ सेम बट इट इज गिविंग इन ए अनदर परस्पेक्टिव so th- that is uh, the s- uh, second sutra students for a virtuous person one whose behavior is virtuous no volition needed uh, no volition needed be exerted let non regret arise in me it is natural that non regret arises in one who is virtuous one whose behavior is virtuous so you can say ke aap shikshak लोग आप आ, का जो अगर आपने शील का पालन किया तो ऐसा मन में आपको ख्याल आने का जरूरत नहीं है कि मेरा मन जो है साफ हो और कोई वट इज द रिग्रेट वट वील से गिल्ट हाँ पश्चाताप रहित मेरा मन हो जाए ऐसा आपको आ, सोचना नहीं पड़ता कि मेरा मन पश्चाताप रहित है आपने शील पालन किया तो आपका मन पश्चाताप रहित हो जाएगा so what he is uh, buddha is saying that if you follow the precepts you don't have to kind of make a kind of determination that that leads to a guilt free mind okay but just the following the prefer- precepts will make your mind guilt free so he goes further for one without regret no violation needed be exerted let joy arise in me it is natural that joy arises in one without regret so jiska man uh, ka jo hai pashchataap uh, uh, rahit hai to sukh aaye waisa unko kehna nahi padta aapko aap aapko aap sukh aata hai so that is how it one leads to another i have told about the eight fold part also that uh, if you have the right view that leads to right thought which leads to right speech which leads to right action which leads to right uh, livelihood which leads to right uh, uh, practice which leads uh, to right mindfulness which leads to right concentration so one uh, if you follow then it, the next step is automatically you are making the room for it to develop so in that way you have to uh, ensure in your life that you follow the precepts what we uh, buddha is giving is only the five precepts for you to follow which is uh, seems a kind of simple but in this modern life you can see that there are a lot of uh, uh, pressure to have uh, alcohol there is a lot of pressure to kind of say lies if you are late then you have to kind of say something like uh, i was stuck in traffic or something like that so uh, uh, my teacher says that you should avoid this white lies also you should uh, ensure that what what you say is uh, truthful but that does not mean that you have to reveal all the truth to other a person you may uh, kind of uh, be skillful in your speech and uh, you may avoid that talk or topic that is not a, uh, uh, avo- means uh, uh, if there is avoidable then you can avoid that but uh, avoid saying which is not true so aap apne jeevan ke andar apna shil palan karenge to panch hi shil hai magar abhi इस जमाने में बहुत मुश्किल हो जाता है क्योंकि हर एक का जो है 
प्रेशर रहता है जैसे अगर कोई जॉब कर रहा है तो सब पार्टी में जाते हैं वो आपको बोलते हैं कि ये आप ले लो इसको अपील लो या ऐसा कुछ तो आपको उसको देखना है कि किस तरह से वो हमें आपको ये अफेक्ट करता है और अगर सब जो आपको कभी लेट हो गए तो आपको आदत हो गई है कि कहना क्या मैं ट्रैफिक में फंस गया था या या ऐसा झूठ बोलते हैं सफ़ेद झूठ अगर किसी ने एकदम खराब शर्ट पहना हुआ है तो आप बोलेंगे अरे आपने तो बढ़िया शर्ट पहना है तो वो सफ़ेद झूठ है इफ समी एज गोन काइंड ऑफ अगली शर्ट बट वी आर काइंड ऑफ कल्चरली वी हैव गो एन से दैट ओ यू हैव ए ब्यूटीफुल शर्ट सो so, उस तरह का चीज़ें वाइट लाइफ होती है सफ़ेद झूठ तो uh, वो सफ़ेद झूठ को भी आपको अवॉइड करना है जब आप वो आप करते हैं और आपका जो प्रैक्टिस है आपको आप ही बढ़े बढ़ेगा और बुद्ध का यहाँ पे संयुक्त निकाय में बहुत सारे सुविधा है वहाँ पे कहते हैं कि अगर आपने शील का पालन किया और आपने जो है बुद्ध धम्म संघ के बारे में आपका थोड़ा विचार किया उसके बारे में विचार मंथन जो बोलते हैं कंटेम्प्रेशन स्मरण करना एक चीज है स्मरण करना मगर वो स्मरण जो है ना चैंटिंग के हिसाब से नहीं मीनिंग मीनिंग बराबर से मीनिंग आपको जानना चाहिए चैंटिंग करने से कुछ नहीं होगा क्योंकि चैंटिंग के क्या होता है ना मन जो है ना इतना चैंटिंग के अगर स्विच ऑफ हो जाता है कि आप कुछ भी सोचते रहते हैं और चैंटिंग में चालू रहता है वैसा नहीं आपको मतलब समझ के उसके बारे में आपको सोचना चाहिए कंटेम्पलेशन का मतलब क्या है कि कोई भी चीज़ का आप अध्ययन करेंगे तो अगर अगर इतिपुरुषों का सिर्फ आप अध्ययन करते हैं तो एक समझो शब्द ले लिया हर एक इसके अंदर अकाली को अकाली को मत का मतलब क्या है तो उसके अंदर थोड़ा आपने सोचा उतना आप करेंगे तो आप अपने आप को ही सोता पता कह सकते हैं किसी को जाके आपको पूछने की जरूरत नहीं कोई कोई अथॉरिटी नहीं है यहाँ पे कि जो आपको ये आपको ये ये देगा सर्टिफिकेट देगा मगर आप अपने आप को बोल सकते हैं कि मैं सोता पता हूँ जब आप ये चीज करते हैं शील का पालन करते हैं और आप जो है बुद्ध धर्म संघ के बारे में विचार करते हैं इफ यू इन वन ऑफ मेनी देर आर मेनी सुतर्स नॉट वन बट देर आर मेनी सुतर्स इन द निकायास वैर द बुद्ध इज दैट इफ यू कीप द प्रिसेप्ट एंड कंटेम्पलेट ऑन द बुद्ध धर्म एंड संघ जस्ट कंटेम्पलेशन देर इज ए चैंडिंग विच इज नॉट इथ्री पुरुषो बट नॉट चैंडिंग इट because chanting uh, if you do it becomes kind of automatic and you can think either here and there and you can keep on chanting not that chanting but to take each uh, uh, of these words and contemplate what what does it mean just i said that timeless the uh, buddha's dhamma is time timeless so what does the timeless then mean ehi pasiko so what does that mean just uh, putting your uh, uh, Effort in kind of contemplating those things, and uh, then you can call yourself a sota pada. You don't need any authority or somebody to give you certificate. You can yourself call yourself a sota pada. And the uh, teaching is such that if you keep the uh, uh, precepts, then it will progressively grow, and you will grow ahead. So I'll just give you a bonus uh, 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 some uh, part of an other sutta, which is from Majjhima Nikaya, uh, Maharahula Vada Sutta, uh, uh, Majjhima Nikaya 62. That I uh, yesterday we had taken up uh, a short uh, uh, about uh, what is the danger, uh, what gratification danger and uh, escape as uh, for the elements. So this is talking about the elements and also talking about uh, practice of Brahma Vigya. जो हमने अभी राहुल आवादा सुता लेंगे मजीब ने कहा 62 उसके अंदर हमने कल बताया था कि किस तरह से किसी चीज के अंदर आपका आप संतोष लेते हैं उसके अंदर क्या आपका भय है और उसके अंदर किस तरह से आपको छुटकारा है और अभी ये इसके अंदर उसी तरह से वो लोगों ने बताया है कि किस त जो आपका अर्थ है वाटर है फायर है एयर है उसका इस्तेमाल करके मेडिटेशन में किस तरह इस्तेमाल करना चाहिए तो हाँ यस यस इट इज ऑफ यू दैट आई डोंट हैव एनी सेइंग दैट
केमिकल था कैन बी सी फॉर सम टाइम बाई स्विच इट ऑफ स्विच स्विच इट ऑफ फॉर सम टाइम एंड सी Or there, I think they burn some things over uh, here. Uh, don't open it, and then uh, it will come back. Uh, keep it. Keep it. <laughs> okay. So uh, we will go back to the sutra. So uh, we are talking about uh, advice to Rahula. That is, that uh, Buddha uh, gives a, a certain advice to Rahula. Then. Uh, I think uh, Sariputta comes and uh, gives him further advice. So uh, that is uh, uh, the advice which is there for people who are finding the meditation difficult. So this is an advice. ये आपको ये जो सलाह दी गई है वो उस उन लोगों के लिए जिनका आपको लगता है कि जो meditation में आपको कठिनाई आ रही है. तो किस तरह से ये कठिनाई को आप देख सकते हैं? उसको उस तरह से आप बताया गया है. Rahula, develop meditation that is like the earth. For when you develop meditation that is like earth, a reason agreeable and disagreeable contacts will not invade your mind and remain. So, उनको कहा गया Rahula, आप जो है अपना भावना है जो आप पृथ्वी की तरह आप बनाएंगे जब वो आपकी जो मेडिटेशन है पृथ्वी की तरह होगी तो अगर आपके अंदर कोई ऐसी भावना उठती है जो आपसे मेल नहीं खाती है आप उसको पसंद नहीं करते हैं तो वो आपके मन को हावी नहीं हो जाएगा और आपके मन के हावी होके आपका वहाँ पे टिकेगा नहीं जस्ट एज पीपल थ्रो क्लीन थिंग्स एंड डर्टी थिंग्स एक्सक्रीमेंट यूरिन स्पिटल पस and blood on the earth and the earth is not repelled humiliated and disgusted because of that so to rahula develop meditation that is like the earth for when you develop meditation that is like earth a reason agreeable and disagreeable contacts will not invade your mind and remain so ye aisa batate hain ki jaise prithvi par aap koi bhi cheez phekte hain to prithvi jo hai usko apna leti hai आप अगर थूकते हैं या कचरा फेंकते हैं या जो भी आप जो गंदी चीज़ है वो आप फेंकते हैं तो वो जो पृथ्वी है वो ये नहीं होती वो उस सब चीज़ को अपना लेते हैं तो उस तरह से आपका मन बनाइए कि अगर कोई भी आ, 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 जो चीज़ आपको पसंद नहीं है वो आपके मेडिटेशन में आए तो आप उसको अपना लेंगे अगर वो दर्द है तो आप अपना लेंगे वो अगर आपको पीड़ा है तो आप अपना लेंगे अगर समझो आपका चंचल मन है तो अपना लेंगे अगर वहाँ पे आपको गर्मी लग रही है तो अपना लेंगे सर्दी लग रही है तो अपना लेंगे तो जो भी आपको मेडिटेशन में आपको मिलता है उसे अपना लेंगे दैट मीन्स दैट वॉट एवर हैपन्स इन योर मेडिटेशन वॉट एवर अराइज इज विच इज़ अनकम्फर्टेबल विच इज़ पेनफुल विच इज मे बी यू हैव इचिंग यू हैव ही यू हैव कोल्ड that everything you accept as the earth would have accepted in the same way water if you throw anything in the water does it repel except no it accepts it whatever you throw in the water it accepts it so you have to develop your meditation like the water so whatever is put in the water it will accept so that uh, that is the way you have to develop your mind that whatever comes in the mind you will accept it if you uh, uh, consider fire if you throw anything in the fire the fire will accept it it will burn anything which you put in the fire in the same way uh, whatever comes up in our mind we have to accept that thing as a fire if you have air then whatever you throw in the air the air accepts it so in that same way you make your meditation as an air in the uh, case of uh, space in the space also if you throw something it accepts it so you have to make so usi tarah se jaise पृथ्वी कोई भी चीज़ आप फेंकते हैं वो अपना लेती है जो तो पानी भी कोई भी चीज़ आप फेंकते हैं उसमें वो अपना लेती है वो उस मना नहीं करती उस तरह से आपके मन में जो भी आएगा उसे आपको अपनाना है और उसके साथ रहना है अगर समझो अग्नि है अग्नि के अंदर भी आप कुछ भी डालेंगे तो वो अपना लेती है तो उस तरह से आपका मन भी अग्नि की तरह बनाना है अगर हवा है एयर है जो हवा है उसके अंदर भी आप कुछ डालते हैं तो अपना लेती है और ये आपका जो स्पेस है 
वहाँ पे भी उसी तरह से आपको सब चीज़ को अपनाना है जो आपके मेडिटेशन में आता है तो आप अपने मेडिटेशन में सारी चीज़ को अपनाना है उसके साथ में झगड़ा नहीं करना है जब आप झगड़ा करते हैं तो आपने क्या कहा वो आप दुख पैदा कर रहे हैं जो भी है वो सत्य है और वो है अभी यहाँ पे तो अगर है तो आपको अपनाना है और आपको अपना मन जो है एक पृथ्वी की तरह बनाना है या पानी की तरह बनाना है या अग्नि की तरह बनाना है या हवा की तरह बनाना है उस तरह इट इज काइंड ऑफ यू कैन से दैट दैट इफ देर इज इनफ फायर से द फायर दैट वॉज देयर इन ऑस्ट्रेलिया दे आर पुटिंग ए लॉट ऑफ वाटर बर्निंग इट्स ए रिलेटिव कॉन्सेप्ट ओके सो इफ देर इज अ ग्रेट वॉटर देर इज अ पॉन्ट देर इज अ पडल ऑफ वॉटर एंड यू पुट समथिंग देन द पडल अगेंस्ट दिस थिंग एस्टिंग्विश so that is uh, relatively you have to take it as a uh, uh, say if there is ocean and you put something in there will that happen to the ocean no so we have to think in the concept of uh, how this is at the basic level so that that we have to see how we can use this uh, skillfully so uh, like the buddha said that it, the the teaching is as a run off so you have to use that to cross it to the other side You have to use that in a skillful manner, so you can use that as a tool to cross over the flood. Okay. And then uh, one other advice the Buddha gives is, Rahula, develop meditation on loving kindness. For when you develop meditation on loving kindness, any ill will will be abandoned. Rahula, develop meditation on compassion. For when you develop meditation on compassion, any cruelty will be abandoned. Rahula, develop meditation on altruistic joy. For when you develop meditation on altruistic joy, any discontent will be abandoned. Rahula, develop meditation on equanimity. For when you develop meditation on equanimity, any aversion will be abandoned. So, this is a kind of a way of balancing. so one uh, if one emotion is uh, more then you take it to the other emotion to balance your mind so ye yahan pe kehte hain rahul aapko ke aap hai na maitta ka bhavna aapko develop karna hai agar samjho aapke andar krurta ya sir in the means kisi ke dwesh ki bhavna hai to aapko maitta ka bhavna आपको करना है तो द्वेष जो है मेहता से खत्म होता है अगर समझो आपके क्रूरता है मन में किसी के प्रति या क्रूरता का भाव है तो फिर आपको कंपैशन या करुणा का भाव आपको बनाना है अगर करुणा का भाव बनाएंगे तो आपको क्रूरता का अंत होगा तो क्रूरता का भाव और करुणा का भाव एक साथ में नहीं रह सकता तो आपको अगर क्रूरता का खत्म करना है तो करुणा आपको जगानी है अगर आपका जो है डिसकंटेंट मीन्स आपको असंतुष्टि है असंतुष्टि या किसी के प्रति किसी का जो अच्छा हो रहा है तो आपको ऐसा यह लगता है जेलेसी लगता है ईर्ष्या ईर्ष्या होती है तो ईर्ष्या होती है या आपको जो भी चीज़ है उसके अंदर आपको ये संतुष्टि नहीं है तो फिर आप जो है एल्ट्रोस्टिक जॉय जो है हम लोग बोलते हैं मुदिता मुदिता का आपको डेवलप करना है आपके अंदर मुदिता डेवलप करना है अगर समझो आपका किसी चीज़ के ऊपर घृणा है और पसंद नहीं है तो फिर आपको उपेक्षा का भाव करना है तो जब आप ये उपेक्षा का भाव करेंगे तो कोई घृणा जो है या जो पसंद है तो वो चीज़ खत्म होती है तो इस तरह से जो ब्रह्म विहार हम लोग सिखा रहे हैं उसके अंदर से आपका जो इमोशन नेगेटिव इमोशन है उसको आप कंट्रोल कर सकते हैं सो वॉट वी आर से टीचिंग इज ब्रह्मा वी आर वेर ऑल दिस नेगेटिव इमोशन कैन बी इलिमिनेटेड बिकॉज यू स्टार्ट विथ मेहता देन यू गो टू यू स्टार्ट विथ लविंग काइंडनेस या देन यू गो टू कंपैशन देन यू गो टू एल्ट्रोस्टिक जॉय और जस्ट जॉय एंड देन यू गो टू इक्वानिमिटी सो इल विल इज देर then uh, cruelty is there discontent is there aversion is there oh, 
those are eliminated by doing this practice so this is these are the two kind of uh, practices uh, which uh, uh, have to be developed uh, so now as a, as a bonus i will give one other uh, thing rahula develop meditation on the perception of impermanence for when you develop a meditation on the perception of impermanence the conceit i am will be abandoned और आगे क्या बोलते हैं कि राहुल को कि आपका जो दृष्टिकोण है अव्यक्तिगत पर जो है उसके ऊपर आपको करना है तो अगर वो आप करेंगे तो आपका जो अहम है उसका अंत होगा उस तरह से आगे भी एडवाइस दिया जाता है सो तो इसके अंदर आपको पता चला कि हमने अलग अलग तरीके से बुद्ध ने कहा है कि आपको किस तरह से आपका जो भावना है उसको देखना है और उस तरह से आपका डेवलपमेंट जो है उस तरह से आप कर सकते हैं तो आप, आपका अगर जो भी मन में आ रहा है उसको किस तरह से आप काउंटर कर सकते हैं उसके बारे में बहुत सारा चीज़ें यहाँ पर बताए गए हैं तो देर इज़ ए लॉट ऑफ थिंग विच इज डॉट इन दिस टीचिंग वेर इट इज शो शोन हाउ टू काउंटर योर स्टेट्स ऑफ माइंड विच इज आर आई सी सो that is uh, the basic uh, teaching for today is there any questions in this yes in this topic yeah in this uh, teaching which i have given or any, any other questions also regarding meditation or perception or non perception neither perception or non perception is a very kind of a fine uh, uh, state of mind so uh, to be uh, kind of uh, simple we say it is quiet mind okay so, to be simple so we say you should be uh, uh, just watching your mind is my watching mind that time you are not radiating in directions that time so you are just watching your mind as mind that uh, state uh, you cannot say there is perception and you cannot say there is no perception if there is no perception it is cessation okay you are not conscious at that time but you can uh, but that uh, is such a uh, uh, fine th- uh, place that you may feel that you are perceiving sometimes and you may feel you are not perceiving so that is uh, the kind of experience you may get Both. yeah so you may get an experience of i i i am maybe i am falling asleep but when you uh, come back to your uh, perception you will not have grogginess or uh, uh, laziness but you will have a kind of energy so that is how you know that you are not falling asleep but you are falling into neither perception or non perception is it like uh, when you doing something you feel at the same time you are not doing it also kind of it is it is only possible in sitting meditation it is not possible in uh, this state is not possible in walking meditation or when you are doing walking meditation Uh, you can do it in uh, nothingness in equanimity you can walk in, uh, do walking meditation in equanimity but you will not be able to do this in this thing this is a very fine state that is the reason in uh, 111 madhyama nikaya uh, sariputta also says that he emerges from that and examines what are the states in the mind so that he has to emerge from the meditation and then look at it yes yes जैसा है वैसा आप देखते हैं और वैसा देखते रहते हैं तो हर एक चीज जो आती है उसके अंदर आपका चिपकाव जो है वो छूटता है और वो जैसे चिपकाव छूटता है वो आपका जो चीज है आपका धीरे धीरे जाती है 
और फिर आपका जो हर एक चीज जो आ रही है जैसे इल विल आ रही है इल विल कैसे आती है जैसे एक विचार है मन है मन और विचार का जुड़ना है मन का विज्ञान का पैदा होना है और फीलिंग आती है फीलिंग आती है तो उसमें परसेप्शन रहता है दृष्टिकोण रहता है आपका वो दृष्टिकोण के हिसाब से आप देखते हैं कि ये मुझे पसंद है या नहीं पसंद है तो अगर नहीं पसंद है तो आप उसे उसके बारे में सोचते हैं कि क्या क्या हिसाब से वो नहीं पसंद है नहीं पसंद है अगर कभी भी ऐसा होता है तो आप वैसा करते हैं तो आपका क्या है भाव होता है भव तो उसका क्या बोलते हैं हैबिचुअल हम लोग बोलते हैं तो हैबिचुअल टेंडेंसी क्या मतलब क्या है कि आप अगर ये होगा तो आप वो करेंगे तो आप आप फिर उसको क्या करते हैं दबाने की कोशिश करते हैं दूर करने की कोशिश करते हैं या फिर आप उसके ऊपर चिल्लाते हैं जो सामने वाला है और इसका क्या होता है अंत होता है अगर वो सामने वाला आपको चिल्लाएगा तो उसका फिर आपका गुस्से में बदल जाएगा तो ये इल बिल का गुस्से में बदल गया तो अलग साइकिल चालू हो जाएगा तो वो साइकिल बंद होगा तो उस तरह से एक साइकिल आता है और जाता है मगर आप अगर समझते हैं इस चीज को कि जैसे ही वो आपको ये आया ना पसंद हुआ आप आपने इसका तन्हा में देखा कि तन्हा में आपका मन और शरीर जो है जकड़ने के लगा टेंशन टाइटनेस है अब वहीं पे आपने शिक्षा कर लिया तो फिर आगे वो सोच नहीं आएगी और आगे वो नहीं होगा तो आपको हर समय आपका जो अटेंशन है अवेयरनेस है माइंडफुलनेस है वो रखना है माइंडफुलनेस का मतलब क्या है कि आपका मन एक जगह से दूसरी जगह किस तरह से जा रहा है और वो जाने का जो पूरा जो पूरा प्रोसेस है वो किस तरह से अव्यक्तिगत है तो आपको वो पहचानना है अगर वो पहचानते हैं तब एक समय आता है कि आपका वो टूटता है वो हैबिट टूटता है वो हैबिट आपका टूटेगा तब आपको अनुभव होगा एक निरोध समापति का जब निरोध समापति का होगा तो कुछ चीज़ें आपकी टूटेगी पहली बार अगर आपका हुआ पहले दो बार में क्या होता है तीन आपके जो हाँ हाँ तो वो चीज तीन चीज़ आपकी टूटती है फिर उसके बाद में दो चीज़ कमज़ोर होती है आपका जो इल विल है और आपका जो है क्रेविंग है सेंशुअल प्रेशर्स जो है वो वीक होता है फिर आप अगर अनागामी के स्टेज में जाते हैं तो इल विल एंड इसका पूरी तरह सेंशुअल प्रेशर एंड इल विल का पूरी तरह से नाश होता है तब आपको फिर इल विल होगा नहीं अगर समझो किसी ने आपको गाली भी दी तो आप उसके ऊपर ये इल विल नहीं कर पाएंगे उस तरह से आप प्रोग्रेस करके आप वहाँ पर पहुँच सकते हैं तो जब आपका परमानेंटली आप पूरी तरह से अंडरस्टैंड करते हैं तो वो अंडरस्टैंडिंग के हिसाब से आपका ये छूटता है तो आपका जो अवेयरनेस है वो इम्पोर्टेंट है इन एनीथिंग इसलिए सती पत्ता में छूटते हैं मैं क्या बताया गया है कि कहीं पे भी आप जाते हैं कुछ भी करते हैं तो आप अपने चेतना से करेंगे तो क्या चेतना आपको रखनी है कि आपका मन किधर एक जगह से दूसरी जगह जा रहा है आप बैठे हैं तो आपको पता है बैठे हैं तो बैठे हैं तब का क्या आपका ज्ञान रहना है कि मन क्या कर रहा है मैं बैठे बैठे मैं चल रहा हूँ तो मेरा मन कैसे कर रहा है तो हर समय आपका मन के ऊपर आपको नज़र रखनी है तो जैसे आप अगर जाते हैं तो स्माइल रख सकते हैं आपका तो जैसे ही मन आपका भटकता है तो आपको पता चलता है आपने स्माइल नहीं कर रहे अभी फिर से आपका मन लेके आ सकते हैं तो उस तरह से आप ये जीवन में उतार सकते हैं एनी अदर यू हैव ए क्वेश्चन Passiveness is a different thing. Uh, passiveness is that you are not taking interest. Okay, so passiveness has uh, a, a, a non-involvement. So what uh, over here uh, they are saying is, you look at it actively. You are aware of it, but you are not attached to that uh, uh, whatever comes up. So whatever comes up has a amount of craving in it. So whenever your mind is getting pulled away, that pulling is has a craving uh, aspect of it. so when you think uh, uh, about the uh, nature of it uh, has no uh, kind of a substance to it when you are uh, aware that it does not have a substance uh, of whatever uh, you are uh, which arises does not have substance then you do not pay uh, kind of uh, like uh, importance to that thing like the experiment i, I told you about the mug and the chocolate 
when uh, this was done uh, when they did not know uh, the people did not know so they did not exchange their mug for a chocolate or chocolate for their mug because they had an attachment but if they have, were aware that this is an experiment and that is the, the, the thing then they would have found that this is something they don't have attachment to because they said oh this is just my attachment to uh, the mug because it was uh, if I want chocolate, I will take chocolate and then he, he, they would have exchanged it. The, again, it would have become 50 50. So that is the knowing of it. And that is that knowing comes in our meditation by uh, having constantly observation. By observing and, and, and then what is happening, you uh, observe and at, at, at a point of time you say, oh, it is just this. It is just a thought. It is not my thought. And you let that go. That time you have a, 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 a amount of uh, distance from what is happening. You become a, 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 a distance observer. Now you are just an observer of what is happening. Now you, there is a distance. And now that distance grows. And then it gets also away. So that is how progressively you will grow by having that observation of what is happening, what is coming and what is uh, staying and what is going, impersonal nature, impermanence, all those things are uh, one way of a tarika jo hai, jo anicha anata or dukhata hai, usko ko kya bolte hai? Anicha. Anicha jab hai, usse dukh pehla hota hai. Kyunki koi bhi cheez hai, wo chali jati hai, to apko dukh hota hai. To anicha pehle hai, dukh dusra, anicha dukh. और अनाथा अनाथा है इसका इसका जो है एस्केप है क्या है अनाथा क्योंकि ये हमारा नहीं व्यक्तिगत नहीं जब हम समझते हैं ये व्यक्तिगत नहीं है आना रहना तो आप दुख इसको बंद करते हैं तो उसको एस्केप है सो वन वे ऑफ अंडरस्टैंडिंग दिस थ्री कैरेक्टरिस्टिक इज दैट द इंपर्मनेंस क्रिएट्स द दुख बिकॉज़ व्हेन एवर समथिंग फिनिशेस गोस यू लव समबडी और समथिंग एंड दैट इट्स अवे फ्रॉम यू यू क्रिएट दुख and the anatha is the uh, way of understanding this uh, process and letting go of the attachments and when you let go of the attachment that is the escape so one way of uh, explaining it is also this way so that, that is the reason in this meditation you come to know about these three characteristics when you know about these three characteristics you can let it go What are the teaching which a uh, positive person, uh, positive person uh, may also have a certain amount of attachments. So when anybody has an attachment, then uh, the person will uh, know how uh, that attachments are uh, kind of affecting it, uh, the person. So a person is happy and a person is uh, a positive, but there are certain attachments which is always, always there. So they, they may be attached with uh, their loved ones. They may be attached with their uh, wealth, they may be attached with their name. So we never know what is happening in the uh, mind of an uh, individual. So uh, from exterior a person may look uh, like uh, somebody who is positive or somebody who is ha always happy. Like uh, there, there were uh, uh, kind of uh, many of the examples in the uh, entertainment industry. They were kind of uh, known as, oh, they were so happy always uh, with full of joy whenever he, they come to the uh, screen, uh, they do uh, their uh, work or they come to a talk show and speak to somebody. They are like full of energy in life and they, uh, at the end of the day, they have committed suicide. So a person who is so happy and positive uh, does not want to end his, his life, you know, but we don't know. So uh, everybody has an attachment to something or the other. Some people have attachment to finer things in life. Some people have uh, attachment to uh, some mind states. Like uh, Alaraka, Alama, Udaga, uh, uh, Ramanuta. They had uh, attachment to their mind states. So they were attached uh, to that thing. And because of that attachment, they were reborn in a very uh, fine uh, place. But after the uh, uh, 
80,000 Mahakapas or something like that, 64,000 Mahakapas, what will happen to them? Something or other will happen, but there is no escape for them. Okay? So, uh, that has to be kind of uh, very clear. I think, uh, I don't remember the exact numbers, but uh, if you are uh, in uh, infinite uh, space, I think it is 16 Mahakapas. Cor correct me if I am wrong. Uh, so, and then it, if you are in infinite consciousness and you pass away uh, with the attachment to infinite consciousness, then you have 32 Mahakapas. Then, uh, if you are uh, in uh, infi uh, nothingness, then it is, I think, I think uh, 64 Mahakapas. And if you are in neither perception or uh, non perception, 84,000 Mahakapas. You know, one Mahakapa, uh, uh, I have told you how one Asankhya is there. You have one mile of uh, granite, every hundred years somebody uh, swipes with a uh, silk cloth and that uh, goes away and the one asankhya has not started ended. Still there it has not ended. So that is the long period asankhya is there and then 84,000 Mahakapas we can spend over there. But after that, then what? After that again there is a samsara is going on and on. <laughs> Our life. This is like a guide for our life. So you take, uh, it is like a tool you can use in your life. So which book would you prefer of the eligibility? See, if you want to, uh, there is one uh, uh, book which is there currently, uh, The Path to Nibbana by one of the students of uh, Bhante Vibhad Ramsey, uh, which was uh, by David Johnson. So that is the book I would recommend as of now. So one book is, uh, it, it, has, it gives a kind of overview of the practice and uh, that, that is a kind of a good book. Part of the book. They can go to the sutta directly. Suttas, uh, you can. See, if you are doing uh, going into directions and I have told you about going into directions, then I think that is uh, enough uh, for uh, you to go to suttas. Bhikkhu Bodhi's translation is what we use and I think uh, that is the best uh, translation. Uh, we recommend Majjhima Nikaya to start with. Can we get the list if you can please write it or forward it? Yeah, we, we, we will try and give you that. Uh, the book uh, is also there are many. No, books. Yes, which book? Hindi booklet, yes. But in English. Is it in Hindi or in English? In English. There is a list of A tool kit to which you have given, is that, uh, does it have it? So that is in the last thing. English list of. Okay, so this is the book. Uh, I don't think uh, we have the list of uh, books over here in the last no. So there is no list of books. But there is a, uh, over here in the end, there, there is a, uh, my uh, email is there, then there is dhammasukha.in and dhammasukha.org. In dhammasukha.org, uh, you will find that uh, uh, there is a section where you have uh, PDFs available. The path of Nibbana is also there uh, in the PDF. Then there is uh, meditation is life and life is meditation. My uh, teacher's book, Bhante Vimal Ramsey's book. So that is the book you can download uh, as PDF and use. Uh, if you have uh, Kindle, I think there is a way of uh, emailing Kindle. Uh, just say convert in the subject and attach the file, PDF and send it to Kindle. And there is a Kindle email address you will have. That, then you will have it in your Kindle uh, as a uh, Kindle format. <coughs> PDF is a little difficult for Kindle, so that can be done. And uh, PDF, uh, if you are uh, habitually to read on a mobile or anything, you can uh, read uh, PDF. Sandeep, there is a one website, uh -huh. Sutta Central. Sutta Central is there, but uh, that uh, has a different kind of uh, uh, translations. So two, three, monks. two, three monks are there, and they have different way. And certain uh, suttas they don't completely translate. 
to translate their, uh, their kind of uh, uh, in brief. In brief, some of them are in brief. Some of them are in total. Bhikkhu Bodhi's translation has also done. Uh, Bhikkhu Bodhi has also done translation in Sutta Central. Sutta Central is also a good resource for you to go and uh, read suttas. Uh, but uh, we would recommend to go to uh, Banjimanika and read Banjimanika first because that has uh, more uh, concise uh, uh, teachings and they, which are kind of so the teaching which we have already given you. So you will have more uh, access to them. And whatever uh, is your practice, uh, continuing your practice is more important in your daily life. As you can continue your practice, that will give you more and more insight. That is, uh, karma is one of the five things we need to do to get good merits. What are the other four values? No, I don't think karma, uh, I said that if there is a certain uh, health problem which happens, then there, uh, the Buddha has listed ten reasons for it. And one of these reasons is kar karmic reason. So whatever happens and then there is a possibility that there is an accident, the happenstance is also possible in the world as you are, uh, as a human, if you are there, there is accident is possible, accident is a possibility. So if you have uh, come with a long life but you, your life is cut short, then you are reborn in uh, the uh, heavenly realms and you, uh, uh, according to that whatever is the uh, 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 remaining time you spend in that heavenly realm. How do we keep uh, our practices? We'll talk about that tomorrow in uh, kind of a little more detail. Also how we can grow as a meditator and what other practice can we do to help us. See to grow as a meditator is to be persistent. See, uh, there is a, 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 a Tai Chi teacher uh, who was, uh, uh, somebody asked an advice for that uh, teacher that uh, I, uh, should I do two hours uh, in the uh, weekend uh, practice uh, or uh, daily practice. He said it is better to do a, a 15 minute practice daily than two hours in the weekend because every day you are uh, getting in touch with the uh, practice. So that is also uh, the advice we give is, uh, if you want to have the weekend big, big sits, but you have at least a 30 minutes sit every day, so you are in touch with what you are doing and then bring this thing as a tool of uh, using your attention in your daily life. Whatever you are doing, you can see, your mind is getting distracted, it is getting too busy, you recognize, release, relax. Smile and start doing whatever you are doing. Again, you are reading a book, you are on a computer, you are watching a TV or uh, a movie, you get too much emotionally involved, you recognize that I am getting too much involved in that. Release, relax, smile and come back. So you always can have this balance by knowing the right effort. So you can do it every day. So kabhi bhi aap jivan ke andar ye jo sahi prayas hai, aap istamal kar sakte hai. Jo bhi kar rahe hai, aap उसके अंदर सही प्रयास जो है आपको पहचानना है जाने देना है यहाँ पे शीतल करना है स्माइल करना है वापस आपका का, कार्य में लग जाना है वाई आर प्रसिप्शन ध्यान कर वॉट डज बुद्धिज्म से अबाउट एग्जिस्टेंस ऑफ गॉड हाउ डज इट डिफाइन गॉड सी बुद्धिज्म डज नॉट से बुद्धा डज नॉट से अबाउट गॉड बिकॉज सर्टन एस्पेक्ट्स ही डज नॉट टॉक अबाउट बिकॉज ही सेज दैट इट आर अनप्रूवेबल और अनडिनाइबल सो यू कैन नॉट प्रूव देर इज अ गॉड और यू कैन नॉट प्रूव देर इज नो गॉड सो दैट इज एफर्ट विच इज अनफ्रूटफुल फॉर यू so that is the reason we don't say there is a god or there is uh, no god we say that that uh, pursuit of that uh, question is not helpful so we do what is helpful for us what is helpful for us is six hours recognize release relax and return and be with whatever is there so that is helpful so you don't uh, get into uh, things where you cannot prove or disprove something Certain things which are not helpful, so there are some list of questions also. Is the Tathagata there? Is the Tathagata there after Nirvana? If he is there and not there, he is both there and not there. So
so those are questions he says no we don't answer those questions because that can confuse you so vacha gurta was one of the gurdas uh, 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 questioners he and later on uh, accepted gurdas that was the last sutta where gurda he asked him is there even one person who has attained sota panna so gurda says no there are more than uh, 500 then for a lay uh, person for a lay woman for everybody he uh, said uh, this thing then he was convinced then he became, he followed buddha's practice and uh, once he was uh, awakened there was a group of monk going so uh, he gave a cryptic, cryptic message i don't remember that message but he gave a cryptic message to the uh, buddha say so he said you tell this message and buddha will understand that i have attained awakening so then he uh, sends the information about that so uh, that there are questions which the buddha has refused to answer what is operating when the mind goes into cessation uh, the things which are operating is heat and vitality that is what we discussed about those things are there your vitality heat is there and your prior determination is the uh, bent of mind you have already created so you uh, 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 develop your uh, determination then you can come out of this uh, based on uh, you have to be at least anagami with fruition to uh, go at will in fruition and come back i'm sorry cessation and come back who is the observer of thoughts if the thoughts are not mine where do they come from that also we covered in one of the suttas i think uh, 43 Uh, 43 uh, 43 uh, we cover that that uh, it is is the the eye eye of of wisdom wisdom is what uh, the says the eye of wisdom is the purified mind which is uh, free of lust uh, hatred and delusion that mind uh, is the one who is observing so the uh, the designation which has been given is eye of wisdom that is who watches over that origination means lack of is this different or uh, this i have done this series of questions i have done this also i have done so we have this one paper maybe we need some more paper for questions tomorrow so any other more questions yes this is a training for the training purpose we keep this ritual friend when you go uh, uh, from uh, here uh, the the retreat is over then you can take any spiritual friend it can be male female you can take even uh, people who are not alive say if you remember your uh, past or relative and want to send a uh, mantra to them then you can send them and you can also uh, send to people who are sick uh, Uh, the the restrictions which we gave are do not apply after this retreat is end but in this retreat you just keep one uh, spiritual friend and keep on with that spiritual friend okay unless we don't tell you we tell you a practice we have to do which is called breaking down of barriers you send to three uh, more spiritual friend family members then you change your practice but till the time after breaking of you don't need breaking of barriers to after the retreat you can directly do uh, whatever uh, person you want to send the metta you can do that only in retreat will tell you the breaking of barriers it's a, just a test for the mind to see can you answer that also you can do when you feel uh, that is there but it is better you do it in guidance with guidance okay but it uh, depends it is relative it's relative to how, where you are in uh, your practice it is relative it does not mean anything it, it means that uh, where you are in the practice will determine how you are uh, when you have to do this practice it it does not uh, you after that also you are still doing the six hour right effort is still there the same right effort you do right effort does not it's just a object of meditation and how your mind is uh, malleable that is just a test on how your mind is malleable how uh, it can move and what is the direction that you are in the initial stage you have not reached that level so how do you go about that you should 
at least sit for 30 minutes minimum. That is what the recommendation is there. One hour is good. Uh, and anything more than one hour is uh, excellent. So there are uh, there is a, a student of ours in uh, Russia who is a bureaucrat. He uh, sits uh, uh, three hours in the morning before he goes to office. He comes back, uh, does not watch TV or anything. He has uh, uh, children and wife and everything. He uh, talks to them and uh, they have food together. But by uh, eight eight thirty or uh, nine he sleeps. So he can get up at uh, 5 o'clock, has uh, enough rest, sits for 3 hours, then uh, gets ready and goes to office. So uh, it depends on how you are uh, willing to do. But he is very accomplished and... Uh, If there is guidance, I think I would prefer that you have guidance. But uh, we don't give restrictions of what you should do or not after the retreat. Only when the retreat is there, I give uh, instructions. What you do in life is your uh, this thing, freedom. So we don't kind of uh, give any instructions what you should do. And uh, so there is, uh, uh, my teacher always says there are no shoulds in Buddhism. <laughs> there is only your uh, freedom. If you what if you do this, it, that. It, that would happen. So there is a this thing. So it is up to you. If you feel like it, you can go ahead and do it. But if you want to take um, uh, feedback or uh, keep in touch, you can also keep in touch. There is there are other ways over there. There is email and there, uh, there is then I'll put you on a WhatsApp group where you can ask questions or uh, you can ask questions on the uh, groups IO. Uh, there is a mailing list. So we can. Uh, continue our interactions. <coughs> online classes? Online, yes. We are uh, also doing, uh, 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 as of now, there are three Zoom classes which are happening. Uh, one uh, Zoom uh, class happens on uh, Wednesday uh, mm -hmm. and uh, 6.30. Then there is second on Sunday, uh, which is at 2.30. And then there is one uh, uh, in Hindi. Hindi major or Amara Zoom class of Raya? Sade? Raja. Raja. Sunday evening 6 o'clock. 6 o'clock. Sunday evening 6 o'clock. 6 o'clock. Uh, Sunday Zoom class of Hindi. Mein hota hai. So there is a Hindi uh, Zoom. Uh, pe Dr. Madhav Sudhanji is also there. So there are uh, teachers who uh, give in Hindi. So there, there are uh, those classes which happen. So they will take, we will take up uh, typically some suttas or uh, some training uh, related to this thing. So every uh, time something uh, new topic we will take up over there. Distraction should not be there. We have to be committed to certain things. Certain things we are uh, attached to, then uh, our mind will go here and there. That is the reason the Brahmacharya is very important. And uh, that is also not the, uh, the main thing. The main uh, thing is to be dedicated fully. Uh, so whatever is uh, related to the worldly things, we give up. We take up these robes. Robes have no kind of uh, defined uh, uh, this thing. Uh, if, uh, if I am in a group of 10 people, everybody is wearing the robes the same way, so I don't have an individuality. Then uh, there is one way of individuality is through hair. That's the reason there is a uh, regular cutting of hairs. Some people cut hairs in 7 days, some people cut hair in 15 days, some people cut hair in uh, 1 month. But there is a regular cutting of hair. And then uh, uh, anything which is related to uh, family is not there. So we are away from our family. We are staying in a secluded uh, a place or a monastery or a temple. Then uh, 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 our uh, conduct as for food is also there. It is uh, restricted. 
so we get more uh, time so wherever we uh, our attention and our energies can uh, be uh, kind of uh, saved and redirected to our primary task that is how the uh, monk order has been established many monks don't follow this it's a different question but uh, the, uh, the order has been set up to uh, the, for the monks so that they can give more time to their practice but uh, once they give it to the maintenance there are other monks which are there then there are uh, monk uh, there are uh, monasteries where uh, they, they keep uh, senior monks where they have hospital kutis uh, in uh, uh, this thing uh, so where their uh, old monks are there and many uh, monks uh, have uh, like uh, one monk my father uh, my son my father as my teacher was uh, <laughs> he is my future father so but the women and senior was uh, 100 and something years old and he used to uh, uh, st- uh, climb 100 uh, sorry 103 he was or something like that he used to climb the third floor uh, in the this thing and there there was a hall and they used to come or they are climbing the stairs and give talks the the day he passed away was uh, he wanted he was working in a thesaurus or something like that and then uh, he was working uh, on a thesaurus he said i want a book and he knew where the book was so he uh, did not ask anybody he went and he, uh, it was one floor or second floor he went to the exact place where the uh, thesaurus was there or something like that he took out the book brought by the book where he kept the book and then he took a uh, big breath and he passed away so he was not a burden for a second so many of the monks uh, are never burden anybody they, uh, they when they are many uh, very accomplished they pass away in their sleep or uh, they know they are passing away so they uh, inform them also one uh, yeah so the, one of the suktas uh, there is a monk uh, he is called the foremost in hell like some that is called foremost in uh, wisdom bakulate bakulate so uh, he uh, was 80 when he uh, joined the sangha and he stay, uh, he was 80 years old when he joined the sangha he never was sick for a day he, 80 years he stayed a monk so he was 160 years old and he was uh, he did not want to uh, burden anybody with his funeral so he said everybody come i am going to pass away he sat on a uh, place in the meditation and uh, meditated on the uh, fire element and then he burned uh, uh, in flames and that burning was so perfect that there was not even smoke which came out he perfectly burned and then there was not even ashes to uh, take care of so uh, many monks uh, kind of uh, ensure that they don't become a burden to the sangha so, so there is a provision for the old monks to take care of yeah there are uh, places like in uh, thailand sri lanka there are places where uh, I don't think so. There is uh, India. India there is not a very well developed uh, network of uh, monk or uh, the what is called a sangha. They have a loosely knit uh, system. They, they are, uh, there is a lot to be uh, developed in the Theravada at least. Uh, I think uh, in uh, the other uh, things which are there like Tibetan is there. They have very well organized. They have well uh, this thing. I think Mahayana also is a very kind of organized and they have a lot of support. Monks must be married because they are scared of their age. Monk, uh, what I don't know, I, don't, I could not follow you. Like they marry because they are scared of old age. You know? Who marries? Uh, most of the monks. Anyway, in this area. Uh, no, no, I, I, in Theravada, no, no, there are no monks who ma- marry. Monks don't marry. Period. No uh, kind of uh, marriage is possible for a Theravada monk. There may be, I think, uh, in Zen they marry. Uh, I think uh, they have uh, some some uh, uh, maybe sects. Maybe they uh, they marry. But in Theravada, uh, uh, there are no sects or any 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 kind of uh, group which would uh, be considered Theravada and uh, also be 
uh, marrying. They are to be home also. They leave home. That is the reason the designation of our monk is a homeless one. The designation of a monk is a homeless one. जिसका ग्रह नहीं है उसको हम कहते हैं Sanyasi is a kind of a well understood concept in India, so uh, that is what uh, it is, ascetics. Hero talks in a family? I do, uh, but uh, uh, before that only my family was a little bit uh, this thing, because my uh, mother and father had converted to Baha'i religion. So that I had uh, spoken about that, and then uh, that is the reason uh, we were not in kind of too much into uh, our missing family and my mother and father have passed away my sister is there she is also into her own spiritual practice she is uh, more into uh, sufi practice so we are uh, sometimes uh, on whatsapp message we, uh, but that does not mean you should not uh, many monks uh, do keep in touch with their uh, family and everything that does not mean you should not uh, keep in touch but uh, we stay away from the family and uh, we stay in uh, seclusion just to practice. So that is the main uh, thing is our focus is towards the practice. So how we should that is what, how, what is considered. Well, not followed uh, because in the Buddha's time only uh, uh, there were a lot of uh, monks who were not kind of diligent and uh, they were, uh, uh, have ego issues and everything. That is there in the suttas as well as in Vinaya. So uh, this is also the time. So we cannot say anything uh, about uh, hundred percent. We can say what was the ideal uh, situation, which is uh, for which the rules have been made. So that is the reason uh, there is no utopia in uh, Buddhism. There is no period where there is a utopia. There are periods of calm and uh, uh, which are good periods which are when uh, there is a, a world conquering monarch there is no wars in that period everybody uh, can uh, feed themselves there are no uh, uh, because everybody gets uh, food and uh, shelter then there are no uh, uh, thievery, thievery there is nothing gets uh, stolen there is no murders because uh, the disputes are not there everything is settled uh, with uh, this thing negotiation. One, uh, uh, one very famous way of uh, uh, the Buddha settled a dispute is that there was a river and that river used to feed two uh, uh, villages, one on the right and the one on the left. But at one point of time what happened is there was a drought and the river had very little water. So one village could get the water or the other village could get the water. So the, uh, they uh, were, were getting ready to for war, but they uh, then uh, they decided we will go to Buddha and uh, ask him to kind of settle the dispute. So the Buddha said that what uh, you should do is redirect the uh, water to one village. Okay, that village will uh, cultivate the crops. The other village will help the crops in the cultivation of the crops. And whatever crops have been uh, cultivated you divide half. So at least you will have uh, 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 food for both the villages and no, uh, nobody will starve. So when they did that, what happened is because uh, you will see this in, uh, if you want to uh, google it, you will see that as much effort you put in the rice paddy field, that much uh, rice you can cultivate. So it is proportionate to the right uh, effort you put in the rice paddy field. You have to take the water out in a, at an uh, appropriate time. You have to attend to it in an appropriate time. So uh, when they had double the labor, they had a bumper uh, crop. Enough for them both uh, to divide. And both of them uh, survived uh, without any problem and they did not have to even fight. So there is a very uh, a way that this can be, a dispute can be uh, solved. But Buddha cannot solve all disputes. One other uh, is his own uh, uh, kind of uh, kingdom. There was a, a dispute which has happened. And it's, a, it's a long story. I'm, I'm not going to the story. But the, uh, the, there was an army which was marching towards his uh, town. And they were going to uh, kill everybody over there. 
So he sat in the way. There was a Banyan uh, field. So he sat in the way. So the army with arms don't cross where the Buddha is uh, sitting. So they uh, went back the first day. Then they came back the second day, and the Buddha was still there. So they came uh, went away. Then they went back the third day, and the Buddha was still there. So they went back. On the fourth day, Buddha uh, uh, realized that he is uh, determined to go. So the Buddha went away from that. And then the fourth day when they came, they saw the Buddha was not there. So they went ahead and uh, uh, had uh, killed all the uh, people in that, uh, his uh, previous uh, kingdom. And then uh, they went back and because they this uh, regarded Buddha's uh, uh, kind of uh, indication of not to have war, uh, when the army uh, returned and they were resting in a uh, river bank, there was a flood and everybody passed away. So that is the story. So the Buddha can also not stop everything. So there is no utopia in uh, Buddhism. There is no controlling of everybody or everything. There is only a controlling of our own mind and how you uh, do your practice. That is what we have, what you can control. So that is what you have to work on. You cannot work on everybody and everything. <laughs> so that is okay. Okay, yes. Enlighten who is Buddha? Only for the teachings of Buddha. Yeah. What about the people who have no access to Buddha teachings? Let's say they live somewhere in the Danube, South America. So that is uh, where you are born is also a link to your karmic uh, this thing. So some people are born in jungle of Africa. Some people are born uh, in the uh, uh, house of Bill Gates, you know, and uh, Elon Musk. So uh, that is based on the karmic uh, this thing that where you are born. So being born uh, in a certain uh, places, you may be advantage. Uh, you have a, may have advantage. Uh, some places you may have disadvantage. But that is a continuation of the uh, uh, the the samsaric life, which is based on your uh, karmic thing. So whenever uh, you have this opportunity, this is there. You can uh, take care of the opportunity. We cannot control in the sense that everybody has equal access to this. Even if we went uh, and put advertisements, not uh, once uh, there was a statistic that the radio in India is accessible by 40% of the population. So uh, something like basic like radio which has been there in India for maybe 150 years uh, does not reach even 50% of the population. So uh, there is no way uh, everybody can have access to every kind of information. So it's a kind of a karmic thing, right? Uh, how you are there. We went uh, trekking in the hills. There were uh, people who have not seen uh, pra paracetamol. They used to come and ask us for paracetamol. Yes. Because that uh, half a paracetamol could uh, kind of uh, be so much relief to them because they don't have access to medication. They just have not seen medicine uh, because they, they are st staying in so uh, uh, deep hill. They have their food uh, production over there and they have their uh, cows and uh, this thing. They have milk and everything is there for them. They stay in a very beautiful place. But uh, that is not there for them. So there is nothing uh, universal about anything. So You can say that or you can say that uh, over here uh, because of uh, what you have done, you come over here. Like one of the things uh, my uh, teacher used to say is that uh, people who stay in uh, tropical uh, places uh, may have uh, done a lot of good karma because they can just walk into the forest and have uh, the thing. Like he stayed in Hawaii for some time. So there are many people who used to just go to the forest, collect the fruit and live on that. No, uh, they did not have to work or anything. They just go into the forest. They would find uh, tropical fruits, which are there uh, growing in the jungle, and they would collect it. And in Malaysia also, there are many uh, people who uh, do that. You know, they just stay in the tropical. 
So that is uh, one of the karmic uh, reasons why you can uh, be born over there. And some people are born in Africa who are have no access to anything, you know. But in Africa itself, there are some people born who have access to everything. So it, it all depends on your karmic thing, uh, where you are born. So there is no universal, uh, 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 in, in the sense that there is nothing universal about anything. Even if there is a, the uh, Maitriya Buddha comes and uh, whatever population is uh, uh, awakened, there are much, much more population in the heaven uh, which are uh, not have access to them. Much, much more population in the uh, uh, animal realm, realm, they don't have access to that. There are much, much population in the hell realm which does not have access to that. So there is a lot of uh, pe uh, people who don't have access to uh, the teaching. So it's a kind of privilege that uh, when we are taking into con consideration that how rare it is that this teaching are that, that you are getting in touch with it. So you have to take benefit of that. You should not let go of this uh, kind of uh, uh, opportunity which you are getting. Okay. Anything else? Just one more question. Yeah. I don't know. went to his family, but he went to his family in the due course of his journeys. There were, I think, uh, uh, one or two or three people who come uh, came to call him to the family, but whenever he... Mm -hmm. So, uh, so uh, there are stories that, uh, that uh, they have said that uh, 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 they were uh, people uh, who were sent to call him back. But uh, when they saw the Buddha, they became uh, monks and uh, they uh, uh, became Arahans. So they did not go back, uh, the messenger who came, uh, they became monks. In due course, while uh, going around, because Buddha goes around uh, the, and uh, not stay in a place, so he, he, in due course he went. and. Uh, uh, in the rare occasion uh, uh, where the Buddha shows uh, miracles, okay, miracles are not shown by the Buddha because that is not the way for the Buddha and uh, he forbids monks uh, uh, also to uh, uh, kind of display uh, any kind of psychic abilities. So he is forbidden by the monks or, uh, for the monks also. So uh, at the time when he went over there, Everybody used to say, oh, this is my uh, uh, son, or uh, his mother would say, uh, he would say that this is, uh, I am your auntie, I am your uncle, I am your cousin. And they, they would not uh, kind of uh, pay uh, proper respect to him. That was his uh, understanding. So that is the reason what he does is, he has a uh, miracle he does, where he has uh, fire and water. What element he can show? Uh, so there are two elements at one uh, time he can, uh, he projects the, the fire uh, from his body and water from, uh, is coming from the body. So that uh, he does that uh, to kind of uh, convince them that uh, what uh, they are uh, kind of encountering is not their old uh, uh, relative. It's a, uh, a completely different entity which is a Buddha. So they should not, uh, by the, uh, doing, uh, by uh, behaving uh, as if he is your relative, then they could have uh, in identity uh, insulted the Buddha and by uh, that they would have created bad karma for them. Mm -hmm. So for their benefit, the Buddha uh, did that out of compassion for his relatives. Then uh, they, he was accepted and a lot of uh, his cousins uh, became uh, Arahans, like Aniruddha is there, Ananda is there. Then the day that dies there, there are a lot of uh, who, uh, kind of uh, his son Ramla, his mother had himself become a nun, the first man nun. Yeshoda. Yes, so this uh, the, the, uh, 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 after awakening, he kind of made sure that he went back, but he did not go back as a uh, to his home. He went back as a course of his journeys. So that is true. And uh, uh, the story is that uh, uh, his mother asked uh, his son, uh, so he, he, uh, that go and ask for your inheritance. Uh, 
so Rahula goes and says that give me my inheritance to the Buddha. So the Buddha says, uh, uh, ordain him as a uh, novice monk. So he is the first novice monk, Rahula. The uh, one we uh, read about the Rahula Sutta, Rahula Vada Sutta, he, he is Buddha's son, Rahula. So Rahula uh, was the first uh, ordained novice monk at the age of seven. So that is also the rule, uh, uh, less than seven, there is no ordination of a Samanera or a novice monk. Yeah, so that is also said that every Buddha uh, who uh, is born, a mother uh, passes away because uh, the purity which is required for, for that uh, life uh, for a mother uh, has to be maintained. So that is the reason. And then there is a sutta where he goes, uh, her mother is now a deva and goes and teaches uh, his uh, mother, the Dhamma. So because there is a, a debt which is there. A debt of a, a child can only be paid by him uh, teaching or uh, taking uh, their parents to the Dhamma. So that is the only way he can pay the debt. A child cannot pay the debt even if they carry them on the shoulder for 100 years and tend to them for 100 years. They cannot repay the debt uh, which a person owes to their parents. But if they want to repay the debt, then they have to get him to the Dhamma. That is what, uh, so that's the reason he goes to repay his debt because without his mother he could not have been uh, born as a Bodhisattva. So then he goes, but that became a story uh, or a fundamental uh, excuse for Abhidhamma. <laughs> because Abhidhamma is a uh, uh, collection of teachings, uh, they say, uh, was taught by the Buddha, uh, which is a higher teaching. But the Buddha, in one of the suttas itself, I think in the Majjhima he says that I don't have uh, teachers close fist, when there are no te secret teachings. Whatever teachings are there is there in the open. You know, teachers close fist. Usko kya bolte hain Hindi mein? Band ha? Usko kuch aachari ki band kutki aisa kuch bolte hain na? Uska naam kuch hai. To jo guru ka band kutthi jaysa bolte hain kuch. To waise buddh ke paas nahi rehta. Buddh jo bhi aapko shiksha dete hain, saara shiksha wahi khulle mein hai. Koi aisa shiksha nahi hai jo gupt hai. There are no secret again. For the Theravada, he says that there are no secret teachings. Because in Bhagavad Gita, there are secret teachings. Yeah, there are, but as I told you, there is a kind of a change and over the years there is a adding up of concepts and everything and then it changes. So what we are doing is how this can be used going back to the original teaching and how we can convey this and how it can be helpful for you in your life. This is like a tool. You take this tool and take in life and use it. And this can be uh, used to reach Nippana also, as, as I told you in this Sutta. It will progressively, if you progress, then you will not have to do anything. It will definitely reach you to Nippana. One uh, way uh, the Buddha explains is the, uh, from the simile of the uh, chicken. If there is a chicken who uh, hen, okay, hen uh, sits on the eggs, and the hen sits on the eggs, and uh, he does not, the hen does not even have a thought that uh, the uh, egg should hatch and the uh, chicks could come out. But because it sits on the uh, eggs, the uh, uh, the eggs hatch and the chicks come out. Because you do the practice, even if you don't want a progress or anything, you will get the progress because. You have done the practice. So, uh, one other simile is that uh, if the uh, rope is there uh, attached to a uh, ship or a boat, uh, because of the rain and because of the water, sea water, because it gets wet and uh, dry, uh, the ropes uh, kind of get frayed and uh, get uh, torn. In the same way, as you do the practice, your fetters will get uh, uh, weak and it will break. Even if you don't want it, it will happen because it's a process. So that's very interesting because in Vajrayana, in 
It is up to uh, a person how they take the teaching, uh, so uh, they, they may, how it is perceived, you know, how the teaching is perceived and then uh, how it pro progresses. So currently uh, what we uh, offer you is this tool, it is not a very elaborate tool, it's a very simple tool, you can use it and uh, you can take the benefit of it. Uh, that does not uh, forbid you from doing anything else. It is, uh, total freedom is that after this uh, 10 day retreat is over, we don't kind of put you uh, under any kind of obligation. No, no, I'm not saying that because I want to follow your own assumption. I'm just wondering how is that as, you know, I've been told this is a higher teaching. So I am, myself, I am very limited in knowledge. Uh, so I am not a scholarly monk. Mm -hmm. So I am limited in knowledge for other sects and everything. I have knowledge of what I have learned. So I have limited, uh, so I cannot comparatively study because some of the time my uh, 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 teacher, uh, himself uh, kind of gives a comparison with the teaching he has learned. So he has done it for 20 years. That's the reason he kind of compares it to what he has learned and uh, something like that. But uh, what I have is a very uh, a limited uh, uh, understanding of uh, uh, Goenka Vipassana, which I have done. I have done some Hindu practices like uh, Om meditation and uh, on those kind of things. Then I have done uh, uh, a version of this 6R that is relax, relax, relax. I should just relax <laughs> and not uh, bring my mind and not uh, re uh, let it go. So uh, I have a limited uh, understanding of other practices. That's the reason I don't do compare it, uh, this thing. Uh, so I do compare it only with uh, Vipassana, Goenka or uh, uh, one-pointed because that is something goes towards one-pointedness. I have done it for one and a half years. And I had a lot of experiences, uh, meditation experiences and one-pointedness is really good. <laughs> you have wonderful experiences. But uh, this, uh, in comparatively, is very bland, uh, this thing. People get bored with this meditation, but it has profound insights into how you are functioning of the mind. And uh, it has changing our behavior. Many people have uh, kind of uh, reported to us that when they go back to office, and they, uh, they then the uh, colleagues say you are you have changed. So that is when you know that this has been uh, fruitful. Somebody else tells you that you have changed. Guruji, Goenkaji is a married man, but he is not a monk. He is a teacher. Yeah, he is a teacher. He is called Acharya. He is not a Bhante. Mm -hmm. That's why he is not a Bhante. Yeah. So what is the comparison between the Bhante and the Bhante? See, uh, uh, the basic uh, comparison is the uh, step of relax. The relaxed step uh, kind of is a way of letting go of your attachment. So that is how you understand how attachment is coming and how you let go of that. Because of that, your mind can, your body can get uh, uh, relaxed more, and your mind can get uh, clear, and that is how you see the movement of your mind more clearly, and that is the uh, kind of difference. And the other difference is we teach directly from the suttas. So directly we are teaching from the suttas and uh, giving the uh, teaching, and we are uh, making you hear the words of the Buddha, uh, so you know what has been said, and by that uh, hearing itself. Uh, there is a way of uh, maybe uh, 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 your past or something like that, you have uh, that memories are there, perceptions are there, that kind of maybe trigger uh, or there is a way the Buddha conveys which is easier for you to absorb. So that may be the reason that has been very effective for us by teaching the Buddha's way. Because Buddha was a master communicator because that, uh, that he had a mastery in communication. So we cannot kind of overrule his uh, this thing. And uh, one thing uh, Ajahn Chah used to say is uh, that he tried to uh, speak in his own words. Uh, Thailand there is a big uh, monk called Ajahn Chah. He, was, he has passed away but uh, he has many monasteries and everything. So he said that he tried to uh, speak in his own words but he could not uh, uh, say anything which is uh, better than what the Buddha has himself said. So that is the same kind of
kind of understanding my teacher has. He said, uh, the way we can convey as the Buddha conveys is, uh, we cannot exceed that. So we give you the Buddha's teaching. Okay? Who is your teacher? Huh? Who is your teacher? Bhante Vimar Lamsi. So I must have uh, taken his name, I think, ten times. Vimar <laughs> Lamsi. <laughs> Ah, Kindle, I have this image. He has this, uh, this image is there. This image is there. Huh? Not this, this is the image. This is the image. I will read the, what quote I always keep with me. This is the quote I always keep with me on my Kindle, which is uh, there. Seeing and understanding how mind's attention moves from one thing to another and understanding that everything is impersonal process is the main thrust in Buddhist meditation. This is why dependent origination is so important to see and understand. It helps us to develop an impersonal perspective with all arising phenomena and leads you to see for yourself the true nature of all existence. So, Bhante, Vimbadamsi Mahadeva, Dhamma Sukha Meditation Chair. This is the, uh, his photo. You can show uh, other uh, pictures also. Uh, you can go to the uh, website dhammasukha.org. There also you can see. There is a lot of uh, teaching material at dhammasukha.org. We will be adding our uh, on dhammasukha.in also, many of the teaching materials. We are in the process of developing it. So that website. But uh, for the retreat, uh, you will get it. So that is uh, mentioned in the uh, second last page. Uh, the author is uh, Sister Kema. Her photo is also here. Sister Kema is there in, in India uh, and she stays over here. Uh, but she is going uh, for a Euro trip, I think so, on 31st. So she will be there for two months. And uh, there uh, we have mentioned uh, dhammasukha.in and dhammasukha.org. So dhammasukha.in is for India. Damasukha.org is uh, the international website. There is one in uh, Indonesia also and one in uh, Spain. There are certain uh, websites are there. There is one, uh, uh, I think, in other South Korea or some, some other language or Russia or something like that. So, Uh, how effective it is for you, that is uh, the uh, criteria of a meditation. It is not better or uh, worse, it is how effective it is for you. So how e effective it is for you is the, uh, how do you uh, measure that? How it changes your behavior to be more positive. By doing this uh, practice, if your behavior changes in a positive way, then it is for you. So if you uh, can Somebody else can point out the behavior in you and somebody says that you are more calmer or you are more uh, uh, happy uh, than before. Then this meditation is effective. So uh, what is effective is what we are, in, uh, so not better or worse. But what is effective? If this is effective for you, then this is for you. It would depend. That is the reason I said that I don't compare. Uh, compa I don't do comparative studies because I am uh, knowing this meditation, so I can tell you about this meditation. Same. Right? Huh? Same motto. Also. Same motto. <laughs> motto. Yeah. Same motto all meditation. Ah, same motto. <laughs> so that is the thing. So what we can say is by this, but we cannot comparative study. I cannot do because I am not a scholar. And I don't have uh, that much experience. Sometimes my teacher talks about other meditations, but because he has done it for 20 years, and he has done not uh, uh, like uh, off and on. He has done eight uh, three months uh, meditation uh, retreats. Three months. This is a 10 day meditation retreat. Everybody is happy that tomorrow is the last day. <laughs> he has done three months meditation retreat. He has done six months meditation retreat. He has done a two year meditation retreat. Two years, imagine, in retreat. At certain point of time, he was asked to sleep only two hours. So he used to uh, be awake 22 hours and in meditation. It, uh, he said that it was so energy because uh, if you are lacking in sleep, 
it is you require a lot of energy he uh, i think uh, tripled or uh, four times the food normally he used to eat then still he lost weight and he was like uh, emancipated uh, then uh, something happened in burma and he had to go to uh, uh, i think uh, thailand so he spent a lot of time sleeping <laughs> over there i think he said uh, 50 days or a month he just was sleeping Guruji, uh, with your permission, I went out today, but I carried on my suitcase, mm-hmm. yes, no? so I had my lunch at 11.30 and uh, prepared here, uh, that means I'm moving in the right direction. Yes, <laughs> definitely. <laughs> you keep your patience and that is your... Uh, I mentioned my suitcase. Yes, definitely. That's good. Yes. So, uh, the retreats you were mentioning before, he did it in burma uh, most of them uh, so i think uh, he, there were translators he said he said he had difficulty with translators so he would give a kind of uh, two uh, uh, page uh, question and the translator would give two uh, word of uh, uh, translation <laughs> and then the, the meditator would uh, the teacher would give uh, say a one page of answer and he would get two lines of answer <laughs> so you said what was happening with the translation you are not sure but there was a translation which was done over there he is always kind of uh, poking fun at that aspect so okay i think it is uh, already late you have to uh, still have one day uh, keep on meditating and uh, be happy as uh, light as possible just be light uh, laugh smile and be very light aaram se aap kijiye aap kal tak meditation kar rahe hain magar abhi aaram se kijiye muskurate rahiye haste rahiye aur aaram se karna hai aapko koi tension nahi lena hai okay आराम से जितना होगा उतना आप कीजिए आप टेंशन मत लीजिए जितना जैसा होगा वैसा वो आगे बढ़ेगा ओके हाँ देना भी नहीं लेना भी नहीं ऐसा है आपको देना भी नहीं है लेना भी हाँ यू गेट आफ्टर लंच आफ्टर लंच नॉर्मली हाँ लंच के बाद में आपको मोबाइल मिल जाएगा तो आप अगर आपका ट्रेन ट्रेन का अगर स्टेटस वेटस आपको देखना है या आपको अरेंज करना है ट्रांसपोर्ट या ऐसे जो भी करना है वो कर सकते हैं और मोहन का भी हम आर्य मोहन का अंत करते हैं लंच के बाद में उसका कोई जरूरत ही नहीं है यहाँ पे मतलब लंच के बाद में फॉर्मली एंड करते हैं यस बट स्टिल वी आर गिविंग दैट for your purpose of arranging uh, transport and everything so don't keep on talking <laughs> keep silent because others still want to do meditation okay thank okay you. then we'll share the guys may suffering ones be suffering to thee and the fear struck fearlessly may the grieving shed all grief and may all beings find relief may all beings share this merit that we have thus acquired for the acquisition of all kinds of happiness. may beings inhabiting space and earth devas and nagas of mighty power share this merit of ours may they long protect the buddha's dispensation